moving on, I'm sure that you guys have noticed that there's a little star command. Where is it? Here. This is called a save indicator and it means that there's been changes to the configuration that haven't actually been saved. If we wanted to actually save these commands, we would run an admin save. All, all I've really done is change the host name and I've redirected a file to the file directory. So if I press admin save, you can see that the config has now been saved. If we go back into the file directory, we can see that we now have after cron is there and also config.cfg. This is where the configuration will be loaded from now. We, we need to do this admin save from the root context. But say if we were into configure system name, let's just change it something name to R. We've changed it to Alcatel R1. If we try to run a, um, okay, that, that's okay. So if I say now configure hierarchically system, and now I say name R1. If I try to run an admin save from here, admin save, you see it doesn't actually take the command. Now this is similar to like other vendors. So you will have like a do command on Cisco this allows you to save out of context and on Juniper it will be a run command but on Alcatel Lucens I don't think it matters whether it's a forward slash or a backslash but you run a forward slash or a backslash to run a command out of context so if I now say admin save from here we can see that the system name has been changed back to R1 if we were running all of these commands and we wanted to see which commands we've actually run we could run a history command if we run a history these are the last 30 commands that i've actually ran on the system and from here actually if i run a control p it will scroll through the the previous commands if i press control p again it should say the admin save admin save admin save name r1 system configure and just by pressing control p it will scroll through the last 30 commands how many times you press it now if I do a control N it will come back again the screen's gone a bit crazy here so to, to actually get rid of this if I come out of this if I say clear use the clear command and just say clear screen okay it doesn't take it from here context so if I do a, a slash and then type clear screen we can clear the entire screen because it was going a bit crazy there. Now let me start again. If I go control P, clear screen, and you can see the last commands that I actually entered. And I can also go the other way. So if I do a control N, it will come back again to the next com commands and it will stop at clear screen because there's no commands after that. If I type history from here, Say for example, I wanted to now add um, one of these commands. So if I wanted to do this one, number 41, configure system name Alcatel R1. What I can do, I'll go to the root and I will press exclamation mark and number 41 and it will change the name for me. It will run the command in the context that you wanted. So, so this is really good rather than you actually having to type it all out again you could just press the exclamation mark the number that you require, require in the history command and it will add it into the configuration for you and from here I will keep this name admin save as our little save indicator the star indicates and this will save the command now it's not really a security feature as such but say if you wanted to go to the toilet and you didn't lock your machine or you just wanted to get up and speak to someone you can run what is called the sleep command or this is how I use it so I use a sleep command say if I'm just going to speak to a colleague for a bit and I didn't want anyone else messing with the command line I, I would run the sleep command so I could say sleep for say 10 seconds and then you won't be able to enter anything for 10 seconds it's actually not that good of a security feature um, I'm sure there are other uses for it because 
that the Alcatel will still take the input on the command line but I use it say if I've just got to go over to get a pencil from the cupboard or something I will say sleep for 10 seconds I get up walk over get my pencil it, it looks like the command line has paused when I come back then I could carry on typing it, it's in seconds so sleep for 10 seconds you could also log out of the system so if I say log out here it will log out of the system this is a way better security feature obviously because then they will need to know your password and login um, at the moment it's the default so it's not again that security focus because it's admin and admin I could also reboot the entire system I, I will reboot it here um, I will pause the video and I'll see you guys on the other side so if I say admin reboot and then as soon as I type Y it will reboot the system so I will do that I'll pause the video and I'll see you guys on the other side if you like our content don't forget to subscribe to our channel and smash that like button also have a look at www.rootocoach.com to see all of our upcoming content I'm back again and what I'm going to do when I'm continuing on with the video now I'm going to provision the actual chassis to actually look at what cards are available if I do a show card command these are the show cards you can see that slot one is actually not provisioned we've got the unprovisioned state here if we're going to provision this we'll say configure oh, say configure card one card type and it's an IO M3 IOM 3 XPB and we also need to configure the MDA and this again we could do it hierarchically so I could have said configure card 1 enter card type card type IOM 3 XPB now on the configure card so now we need to also configure the MDA. So if I say show, show MDA, we can see that the MDA is also not provisioned and it's MDA1. So from here it's configure card one, MDA1, MDA type, M5, and I press tab, it should complete, enter. If we now do a show, I show MDA we can see that the MDA is up the card is up the MDA is up if I do a show card yeah the card is up we saw that the MDA is up and on those MDAs we have certain ports so if I say show port just say show port we can see that all of the ports are currently down the configure ports we say configure port one slash one slash one no shutdown show port port one is now up if we wanted to configure all of the ports at the same time there's a range command configure port one slash one slash one brackets from one two dots to five no shutdown and this should bring all of the ports up show port and we see that all of the ports are now brought up to be configured let's continue and actually just configure an interface configure enter router enter interface r1 to r2 on the Alcatel Lucent 7750 all of the interfaces must be named I will say it's using port the physical port of 1 slash 1 slash 1 the address for it is 10.1.12.1 as specified in the initial animation this port is no shutdown even though we've already no shut it down if I now have a look at the show router interface I can see that this 
R1 to R2 interface is configured. And if I ping this address, ping 10.1.12.1, this is pingable. We also said that we were going to configure the system interface and the loopback interface. Back here to take me back one context. Interface loopback. It's a loopback interface, so I'll say loopback here. I have the address of 192.168.0.1 slash 24. And it's already shut down. Back. And let's do the system interface as well. So interface system. Um, and I have an address of 1.1.1.1 slash 32. Now, if I try to put a slash 24, it shouldn't take it because the system interface can only have an address, um, a subnet of a slash 32. Yeah, and here it's given us a incorrect output. So if I now change this to slash 32, it's taken. If I do again a show router interface, we can see that we now have all three required interfaces on Alcatel R1. I will do the same on R2 now. So let's now jump onto R2 and look at the configuration over there. This is R2. Before we do that, let's just have a look at our topology again. We've done the loopback, the system interface, and the physical interface configured facing R2. We're going to do the same configuration now actually on R2. First things we say admin admin we configure the system name configure system name alcatel underscore r2 configure card one card type iom3 dash xp dash b mda one mda type m5 tab enter Control Z and then I'll say configure port one slash one slash one bracket one to five no shutdown show port to make sure the ports are up yes they are actually I'll make this full screen Q show port the ports are up and then we'll say configure router R2 to R1. Configure router interface R2 to R1. We'll use the port of 1 slash 1 slash 1, address of 10.1.12.2 slash 24. It's already no shutdown. We say back. We say interface, the loopback interface, which is 192.168.0.2 slash 24. Let's call it interface loopback, the name, address 192.168.0.2 slash 24. And it's a loopback interface say back to go back and then last but not least the system interface so interface system you need to type this fully if you type interface syst it will have a name of an interface called sys so let's actually type system and we say address is 2.2.2.2 slash 32 back now let's see if we could ping r1 so let's say ping 10.1.12.1 and you can see that we can ping this now, now actually even the ping command has additional options we were pinging the, the conventional way if we wanted to ping as some other vendors ping ping rapid and you'll see the familiar exclamation marks ping rapid and the amount of pings we've got so let's say we want 500 pings rapid you see some familiar output here for a lot of people on other vendors equipment the issue here is that 
we've added these commands they've been taken automatically we've got the star here which signifies that there's some unsaved config even though we haven't saved the config we've still managed to ping r1 this means that the config has already been automatically taken and added to the configuration